hello welcome back to my channel lumsy souls in today's sewing tutorial i'll be sharing with you guys how to make this bubu gown with cow side seam i dropped three designs that i can make tutorial on on you guys chose this one so i've made the tutorial which is number two <laughs> both on facebook and on youtube number two one so that's why i decided to make this one so guys make sure you participate in things like this so that you'll be able to be part of this community to decide which design we will be making on here i want to thank all that participated in choosing this design so let's start with this tutorial to make this i'll be using this african fabric i have cc art here and also this lace it's um is a chantilly lace i guess it has a little bit of stretch on this side which will be fine for the my sleeve and i'm going to be using a cotton lining this is for the facing and the yoke in front so let's start with the cutting of this first i'm going to be cutting the yoke on my lining so i'll go ahead and fold the lining into two like this i'll be cutting the front part first before i go over to the other ones the first thing I'm going to get is the neck width. I want it to be three and a half inches, but I will mark three inches because I'm cutting straight on fabric. So I'll mark it here. Next, I'll go to the shoulder line. The shoulder line I'm using is 16 inches divided by two will give me eight inches. I'll add half inch sewing allowance to that, which will make it eight and a half and I'll mark it here. Next, I will go down the neck depth. I want it to be four inches, but I'll make it three and a half. So I'll mark three and a half here and I'm going to connect this to this. Please don't mind the sound. My neighbor is building. Next, from here, I'm going to come down 15 inches. But because I'm going to join this, I'm going to add one inch joining allowance on the uh, shoulder and below here. So I'll make it 16 inches. So I'm going to mark 16 inches here next i'm going to make the curve the design for the yoke so i'll make a shape here like this first of all let me use a broken line to do that to see the design i want first before i start making that yes i think this design is okay with me so i'll go ahead and cut this out So when I open it out, this is what I have. I think it's too wide. So let me go ahead and reduce it a bit. I added half inch so that if it's too wide, I would reduce it. So I can go ahead and reduce it more. this shape is better so i'll go ahead and cut this out on the main fabric and i'm going to also cut it on the lace fabric so i have gone ahead and cut this out can you see and the lining and then the lace fabric so i'll go ahead and place this on this like this and i will use this one to turn it I'll use this one and sew it and turn it. So this is it after turning the neck. Can you guys see I've turned the neck. I went ahead and basted all of them together. Can you see? So they are in one piece. I'll go ahead to cut the front part of the dress. So I have cut out the piece I'm using for the front. As you can see, I have folded it into two. Now the length of the dress I'm making is 60 inches. I added one inch sewing allowance to that which will make it 61 and then I cut out a length of 71 inches. So as you can see it's very long. So I'm going to go ahead and start making the neck for this. So first I'm going to start by taking down the measurement. First I'm going to get the under bust length the under bust length i'm using remember it was 15 inches if i add joining an allowance for the shoulder it will be 15 and a half 
and i'm going to add 10 inches to that which will make it 25.5 so 25.5 will be my under bust line so i'll mark it here next i'm going to get the hip line the hip line is 26 inches and i'm going to add 10 inches to that which would make it 36 inches so i mark 36 inches here for the hip line so this is the line for the hip line and this is the under bust line next i'm going to cut the lower part so on this hip line remember this is the hip line on this hip line i'm going to mark hip divided by four plus five inches or you can just go ahead and just make this 14 and half inches with this anybody can wear this the only difference is the sleeve so let's make it 14 inches here and i'm going to drop 14 inches all the way down next from this hip line i'm going to make a cut for the booboo gown you guys should already know how to make a cow uh, side seam for your booboo gown so it's just from this place i'm going to connect this like this so i'll have something like this here so i'll go ahead and cut out this place So as you can see, we have something that looks like this. So remember, this is the under bust. So now we are going to cut the yoke for the front. To cut that, remember our shoulder width is 8 inches, right? I'm going to add 3 inches to that, which will make it 11 inches. And I'm going to mark it here. So I'm going to connect this line like this. So just go ahead and use your free hand and connect it like that. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. So now remember this is the center front. I'll notch here. I'll also notch here. So now I'll go to my... I'll just notch this place. I'll notch maybe from somewhere here down to this place like... Um, eight inches i'll notch it so that i will know where i'll start making my uh, gathers from so i'll notch somewhere here like this and i'll open this this way you go ahead and fix this like this and you're going to gather it you either gather it or you're going to pleat it anyone you feel like you want to gather it you can gather it if you want to pleat it you can pleat it so just make sure that this aligns to the center front. So I'll go ahead and do this, pleat it or gather it, whichever one I prefer. And I will, will continue with this. So can you see that the booboo is already turning out the way we want it? Can you see guys? So I'll go ahead and do this now and I'll come back to you. So this is it after joining it. Can you see? Yeah, so make sure you overlock the yoke. So we'll go ahead and cut the back. For the back, I'm going to also fold my fabric in two like this. So for the length of the back, the length of my, my client is 60 inches. I went ahead and cut out 61.5 inches. So 61.5 inches length is what I have here for the back. So for the width of the dress, I'm going to, uh, I want to make it 18 inches. So I'm going to make this 18 inches. So how I got this width is the shoulder width, which is 8 inches plus um. 10 inches for the sleeve length so everything came to 18 inches and that's what i'm going to be using like this so i'll go ahead and make sure from beginning to end is eight in 18 inches so this is where the side seam will be so i'll go ahead and take the measurements for the horizontal lines first thing i will get is the hip length the hip length i'm using is 26 inches remember i'm adding half inch joining allowance for the shoulder so i'm going to mark 26 inches here so on this hip line 
let me mark this like this on this hip line i'm going to get the 14 and a half inches we got earlier so i'm going to make 14 and a half inches and i'm going to mark it here so i'll take this 14 and a half inches down to the hem so i'll go ahead and mark this to make the shape for the cow neck for the back so i'll just go ahead and make this shape like this i'll cut that out before we go to the next So for the neckline, remember the neckline we use is three and a half inches. I want it to be four inches, so I will cut three and a half inches. When I'm done joining it, it will be four inches. So I'll come down three and a half inches. And for the back, I'm going to come down 1.5 inches. And I'm going to connect this like this. I've gone ahead and sewn the facing for the back. Can you see? This is the facing for the back. So what I will do now is I'm going to place this together like this. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm going to place it together. Can you see the shoulder matches? So I'm going to place it together and use the facing to turn it so that I have a very clean finished shoulder. So I'll go ahead and join this like this and I'm going to sew it. So this is it after sewing the neckline. If you want your neckline to be bigger than this, make sure you make it four inches of, for the width of the neckline so the next thing i would do is to go ahead and join the side seam so when joining the side seam you will notice that the front is longer than the back can you see but from the hem to the hip line is equal can you see it's equal and also from the sleeve to the the area you're adding the sleeve you see that this place is equal just this place is just this place that is bigger than it so you just go ahead and make a running stitches to the front uh, the front of the the front the one that is longer obviously and you go ahead and use running stitches and gather it up there and make sure you spread it evenly so that whatever you have on the left side is what you have on the right side make sure they are equal and you at least push your gather towards your hip line that way it will be spread evenly so i'll go ahead and do that and close the side seam then you go ahead and you hem the lower part so you fold it like this and you fold it again and you're going to sew it so this is it after sewing it guys just remember that how you gather this is what it depends on how the cow side seam will fall so just make sure you spread the gathers evenly you see how it's falling to the hip side yeah so that's how you're going to make sure this falls so we are going to go ahead and cut the sleeve so i have sewn the side seam leaving the sleeve area open so with the lace fabric we're going to go ahead what i have here i'm going to this side is the side that stretches can you see so this is the side i'm going to fold into four for the two sleeves so you go ahead and fold it into four like this now you're going to take the round sleeve just take your round sleeve whatever it is like mine is 12 inches so 12 inches you fold it into two like this what you will have is six inches right so i'm going to just get exactly that six inches and then the length of the sleeve so you decide this thing would stop somewhere here like this where that the upper side will stop is somewhere here like this so you take down where you want the sleeve length to stop for me is seven inches so i'm going to add two inches to this which will make it nine inches in fact let me just make it ten inches so i'll just go ahead and cut this out now remember this lower side is tapered a bit like this can you see this is 11 inches so i'm going to go ahead and do the same tapering on the lower sleeve so just you know just taper it with half an inch and you go that way so now this is how my sleeve will be i'll go ahead and join the side seam you just go ahead and join the side seam so you go ahead and join the side seam and then you're going to now use it and place it here you see that this is bigger than this so when you're placing it you'll be drawing it like that so that it will enter or you are going to gather it a bit so it will enter here so i'll go and do that and i'll come back to show you the finished look 
So guys, this is it after sewing it. Can you see how it is very neat? Let me just put my hand so that you see how this looks. Can you see how it looks? Very nice and very clean, right? So for the neck, remember if you're using the same neck with, with me, make sure you go ahead and make a vent for the back so that it will be easy for your client to wear it. But if you don't want to make a vent for the neck, you can go ahead and make the neck wider so that it will, it will be nice. My client wants her neck to be high in front, so that's why I put the vent at the back of the neck. Guys, we have come to the end of this tutorial. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! -ya.